welcome back. Hi, I'm Krista from Plant Lux. How are you today? I am so glad to be here. So if you are new here, hi, uh, check me out at plantlux.com. Sign up to be notified when we launch our website. And also, if you are new here, please subscribe. That would be amazing. We definitely appreciate your support. Today, we are here to talk to you guys about pothos, how to grow giant pothos, how to grow long vining pothos, the, the big giant leaves. Okay, so let's just get right into it. Over here, let's start with the big guy. So the first and foremost factor in this, as we said earlier, is staking your pothos up. So we've already established that that is very important in this process. You have to stake up your pothos in order to get giant leaves. That is just the way the science works. And that is where you will see your biggest return. There is also moss pole. So this is the moss pole method. And you know, generally speaking, you tie it on again with some nursery grade or some green ties here fabric ties so that is how this one is secured to the moss pole so it's up to you whichever method you prefer one thing you could do is you could take a propagated leaf or two or three and put it um stake it up this is a cutting that i took from that plant check out that check out these roots honestly let's just take a second and check out these roots they are just beautiful so if you take a cutting like this and put it in soil and stake it up, you're gonna have an amazing result. The next really important factor is fertilization. Provide your plant with the growth hormones and the nutrients that it needs in order to become larger. Think about it. If you are bodybuilding, if you are trying to become more muscular and beef up, the same thing applies to humans. Um, you know, you have to take in nutrients and take in extra calories and take in all those really good proteins and, you know, whatever it is that makes us larger. I'm not saying put your plants on steroids, but Jax is kind of like doing that. So if you supplement your plant routine with some of the Jax and maybe even some of the root growth hormone, which I've had much success with, then you can yield some really quick, good results and you've got some giant leaves, um, you know, as a result of that. So you could try that method. Um, I've just been using the jacks and I've just been trying to keep a consistent watering regimen. So that leads me to the next thing. Yes, watering. Watering is very important. Believe it or not, even though pothos, devil's ivy, is a very easy care plant, it does require a watering routine. Your plant will experience leaf death. You are not watering it too frequently. Soil. So I would, in, in my experience, use a very, uh, you know, even mixture of potting soil. Your brand or whatever you prefer is up to you. So I would use a potting mix that is uh, one that has peat in it that doesn't keep the soil waterlogged, but still has enough moisture in the soil to give the plant the, the water that it needs in order to kick out that, that really fast growth because pothos are known for, for kicking out a lot of growth and they need a lot of uh, water or food, if you will, not just fertilizer, but also water in order to sustain the amount of growth that they are shooting out or pushing out. So that's something to consider. Um, another thing that you might want to think about when you are trying to grow these big leaves is humidity. Now, a lot of people with pothos know that they are great low light plants. They are drought tolerant. There's so many benefits. You're going to want to buy a humidifier and have that pothos near the humidifier. So that's just something to keep in mind that, you know, if you really want a big giant, get a humidifier, keep it running and uh, I think you'll see before too long that you'll have some amazing uh, growth and development in your plant. Now, probably the number one thing, honestly, for pothos, the, they will respond to sunlight. The more sunlight you give them, the more quickly they shoot out growth. I cannot emphasize this enough. They, they they do not tend to burn in the sunlight at all. They love it, they soak it in. This is a plant that, that thrives in sunlight. Now, 
With that said, this is also a plant that will tolerate low light situations and be just fine. But if you want a giant and you want a giant now and you want to grow it fast, sunlight is the key to doing that. You can, if you, if you, if you do not have available to you a south facing window or a north facing window, you can have it in any lighting situation. So keep that in mind. The more mature plant that you take a propagation from, the, the yield is going to be a larger leaf. So if you're really looking for a, a big giant pothos and you want one now and you don't have the patience to wait, you know, 10 years or so for the leaves to get big, then if I were you, what I would do is invest in a, uh, a few cuttings of more giant leaves and stake it up and then you just go from there. So another way to encourage growth on your pothos and it will respond adventitious growth, which just means, hey, I cut my plant in one spot and then five new vines came out from there. So, you know, I mean, I'm not saying that it will be five every time. I'm just saying that you will have uh, more growth than, than you can realize if you do decide to uh, trim it and propagate it. So, uh, so propagation is very simple and easy and you can yield large leaves if you stake it up and you can have a lot of success. In about six months time, this is gonna be a very giant long vining plant. Um, again, this does depend on what the plant, if, if you took it from a mature plant or not, but in my experience, when I do this, in about six months time, I have legs that are about two feet long at least, and then I have to propagate again. So keep this in mind. There are about 20 to 25 here today. And that is how I started this one right here. This was a um, 20 to 25 uh, propagation plant, and I, I put a stake in there, and I stuck it in the basement, and then I forgot about it. And this is what happened. <laughs> So it, it is possible to grow a very big pothos very quickly. These are considered to be toxic to pets. I have not had any uh, pets munching on my pothos at all. I have a cat and a dog, and sometimes my daughter brings her cats also into the home, and we have not experienced any, generally speaking in our experience, pets don't tend to munch on these plants anyway. But if you're really concerned about it because your pet you know, your pet is a muncher from your pet because it is considered to be toxic, not only to pets, but also to humans as well. So if you're using these in any situation, uh, whether it be for a wedding or for a formal dinner party or whatever, make sure that you don't have these in your food because you could, you know, you could introduce toxicity uh, because it's also harmful to humans. Moving on. Also, this is a plant that, okay, so another thing to consider, <laughs> you bored? <laughs> you're so bored. It's like you're in school. Okay, I promise, after this I'm done. <laughs> oh my God, you're sleeping. <laughs> so pests. Pests are, you know, generally not a problem with pothos, but if you do um, encounter pests, generally you'll probably either have spider mites or mealybugs, but you know, scale and sometimes thrips are, um, you know, something that you might experience. So unfortunately I've had a problem with mealybugs on my high gold um, pothos, which was a gorgeous beauty. We treat it with horticulture oil, or you know neem oil this plant seems to be pretty tolerant it doesn't like it but it is tolerant of it it prefers neem oil getting them off of the plant spraying it down wiping it down getting them off get the eggs out of the soil so guys if you ever experience this problem here this is uh, a result of not enough water and not enough sun. It could be either or. When you ever see, you see a brown spot in the middle of a white area or a lighter area, it's because it did not get enough sun. So it started to die in that area for lack of chlorophyll. You need to make sure that it has proper sunlight and proper watering regimens. This particular plant is needing um, to be repotted so that it is getting enough water. That's the problem with this plant here. 
Maybe even a little bit more sunlight is needed as well. I I'm not discounting this for having an imperfection. It's beautiful as it is. Part of imperfections are sometimes gorgeous in nature and you know, you just have to appreciate the plant for what it is. So guys, thank you for joining me today in this Pothos adventure and having fun with me talking about Pothos and learning all about devil's ivy and what we can do to grow healthy Pothos. And thank you for your continued support here on my channel. And also, if you haven't heard, we, we have a website now, plantlux.com. And if you haven't signed up to be notified when we launch and when we go live, please go ahead and go to plantlux.com and sign up to be notified when we get some plants in that are ready after growing. So we have some right now that are growing and we are super excited and cannot wait to uh, post when they are ready. So thanks guys. Thanks for joining me here today and I will see See you guys in the next video. Bye! Yeah. Yeah.